Hello and welcome to this edition of Diaspora Central. I am Gil Inglés and with me today, ladies and gentlemen, virtually from the continent of Africa, specifically from Southern Africa, country of Angola. It's one of the veterans of hip-hop, Mr. Urban Music, R&B and Pop, Paul G. Welcome to Diaspora Central. Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude. For having me, and I love the introduction, man. That's that's really you know that's strong, that's powerful. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. That's what we do here at Diaspora Central. We make sure that all of our diaspora, of course, is on tune with the continent, and that the continent is also in tune with the diaspora. Because only if we're able to bridge the two, we can actually move forward as a culture and definitely as a continent of people of African heritage. So, how are you, my hey. friend? Amen, amen to that. I'm good. I'm amazing, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Indeed, indeed. But currently, you're buzzing and you're buzzing because you actually have something new going on. You have a brand new song on the market, brand new video. It's actually a remix of a song that you've released, I believe, at some point last year. Correct? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I released it uh, in um, October last year, but uh, because of the the COVID situation and everything, I decided that I had to stop the promo. But I was already preparing uh, the remix. So uh, instead of just going ahead with the first version of the song, we decided to drop the, the remix, which is, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's blowing up the airways right now here. And I love that. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad for, for the love that I've been receiving for the track. No, definitely. And um, one of the things, and I, I kind of want to go back a little bit into into the beginnings, just for, for, for the sake of those viewers though, that we have or that audience that we have that actually doesn't quite know who Paul G is and some of the things, because there are certain things that people need to kind of know and understand about you. So let's kind of get, get ourselves started. Um, give us a little bit of definitely. your background. How did you get started in music? How old were you and, and uh, how long have you been doing it? Who are some of the names that you have worked with? Let's kind of take a little bit of history here just to give um our, our, wow, our listeners wow. something. all together yeah. is like it's like 30 years now okay. okay so i started i started uh as a very young um fan a music fan of course my father and my mother they uh used to love all the r&b tunes they used to come from the 80s like talking about marvin gay or uh, michael jackson uh, stevie wonder you name it so um i just turned to listen to it and um and, and I will always was curious to uh, understand and know how they uh, could put together some some marvelous uh, tracks like that. You know how they produce, how they how they how they how they come up with those wonderful uh, sounds that we hear and then make us feel good. So um, when I was a little kid, my father uh, bought me a Casio piano, and uh, I started to I mean just started to play, started to play, started to 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 get to know the. The, the production aspect from uh, from the get go, and uh, yeah, apart from that, man, I went uh, went to live in Brazil. Okay. So uh, my father found a way to 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 get me out of uh, of Angola. I went to 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 live and study in Brazil. Mm -hmm. While I was in Brazil, uh, I got encountered with uh, with a lot of uh, music um, atmosphere actually at the church and everything. Okay, just with the piano. Okay, piano thing. So I came back to Angola. Um, and while I was in Brazil, I evolved into a skateboarding. And I brought basically the trending of, of the skateboarding here. So I was one of the, the champions, actually the champion, number one, national number one champion of skateboarding in Angola, all the, the contests and everything. I used to win there. Okay. Um, and, and with that being said, I was also having, having the music on the, on the side, of course, music and dancing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also. Break dance. <laughs> right now, I got to give a shout out to my girl, Gisela. I know she, she's out there in Houston. She started with me, okay? okay. Gisela Chile, she started with me from the get-go. Right, right. My up. best friend. And, uh, and all this thing that I did, uh, skate and the music, she was always with me. Uh -huh. So I always grabbed those two things together and took them around. Um, and apart, I mean, long, uh, long shorty, short, short. I had to, um, to, to ditch the, the skateboarding because... I mean, there was no more skaters. Mm -hmm. Most of the people went to live outside again because the war was getting heavy. We're talking okay. about like um, 80, 89, uh, okay. 89, 90s. It was okay. getting too heavy. A lot of people was dying here. Okay. It was chaos. So I had to turn into something that I love was music. Mm -hmm. And we started dance. Okay. okay. I I met I met uh, Big Nello. 
which uh, uh, had to co- was coming from uh, Germany also also, mm-hmm. and Nello out there was already a dancer. He was already dancing hip hop, and I used to listen hip hop and break dance, and I used to dance it too. Okay. So we decided to create the band called SSP, uh, which everybody knows, uh, basically uh, in a Portuguese speaking countries in diaspora. Right. You know? We started as dancers. Um, I mean, we were the number ones and everything, but I always had this thing inside my head. And I was like, mm-hmm. Nello, we should sing. We should sing. Come on, you got your talent because Nello was very good to me- in memorizing lyrics. Right. He already had he already had this um, um, thing that he would memorize any lyric that used to come from uh, from hip hop, from from that we used to receive from a song, hip hop, R&B. Gotcha. He used to memorize the lyrics. Okay. I was like, since you have this, we can transport this to Portuguese. All right. Gotcha. Now, so, so our j- first song, our first, our first yeah, song ahead. was basically a mixture of Portuguese and English, and a very fake English, I can tell you. Okay, <laughs> fake English, right? But, but yeah, but but it was getting us to to, to set some place because right. uh, at the time, uh, Bruno Chipolica, who was one of the members of SSP, okay, of the dancing group, he he bought um um a box, like um how do you call it uh, a boombox. Is it a yeah. box? No, 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 no. Be- uh, we, he bought he, Bruno Bruno Chipilica bought it from Beto Max. Oh, okay. He bought he bought it from B Max because I was on Bruno. I was Bruno. We need this. We need okay. This. We need this. We, we need this. Um, see that drum machine. Uh, yeah, a drum machine. Okay. Uh, our, 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 our seventeen. AKA, okay. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. The okay, one. That's the one. That, the one that the people got all the samples from eight oh eight. Basically. All right. Yeah. That's a drum machine. Right. Yeah, drum machine. Mm-hmm. But you could, you 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 had you had also the the, the propensity to do bass and uh, create right. Lot, he had a, a sequence, right? He has a Just, sequence. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, so you could do the sequence. sequence. You could, you could sequence the, the entire patterns. song there, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I basically um, mastered myself in that because I I, I always always um was a kind of they, sh- they call me ssp a gig i right? was also a kind of gig <laughs> i just laid i just received that from bruno sit down in uh in my in my room in a house like for a week straight just mm-hmm. trying to understand the machine and guess what i created all this cafe i created tell me baby okay i created um miuda so okay. I, I I created a lot of song, a lot of tra- a lot of a lot of tracks with that um with that archive with that with that uh drum machine. Yeah. So basically, the original songs from SSP, you actually the guy you yeah. produces. So that's when your production yes. niche really starts to come to life. Yes. 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 Because I, I remember we were just trying, we were just trying to to get noticed because people already knew SSP from the dancing side, but they never realized that we had the, the capacity of singing, um and 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 write. Indeed. So we we had yeah I had already the beats ready, so I got um I got Kudi, Kudi from SSP. Okay. I went I'm, I went to pick him up because you know we we, we used to go to school together. And I was like, yeah, you got talent because mm-hmm. he has this golden voice. Okay. You know you sing a lot all right. the R and B tracks too, uh and then Nello brought Jeff Brown. That's okay. when the four of us got connected. Right. Jeff Jeff Brown had was coming from uh from Cuba. Right. Used, to, used to study in Cuba. Okay. And um and uh and he was a, he still till today, he was like a killer lyricist. Right. He he used to write rhymes in the perfection. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. He was he was a poet mixed with um perfectionist lyricist and yeah. a very good interpreter. Gotcha. So we got all this together. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean the song, the, the song style pop up, all right. Kintash, mm-hmm. Afonso Kinta was our our uh, manager at the time. Got you. And he he went he went to the studio because he used to record at my house. Very like a very there was the there wasn't even a studio. I, I created that that thing, you know, mm-hmm. so <laughs> with a the... little very small microphone. Okay. Recorded in tape, you know. Once uh once once. Because we we used to have a lot of breakups and energy. <laughs> oh, okay, the, the cut, cut off the, the lights, right? Again. Yeah, yeah, the light, the light lights situation. go out. The energy mm-hmm. was not working gotcha. at that time. We had to a lot of cuts in our, in our <laughs> power gotcha. supplier here in yeah. Angola. So, so yeah, with that, with that being said, Keita sold the, he, he heard the, the track and he, without telling us, 
he grabbed the, the, the tape and he took it to the radio. Mm -hmm. He was, no, no, I like, I like this song. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to take it, you know, just to listen in the car. But you no, know, nah, man, next thing you know, he was in, a, in, in his show because he, had, he used to have, at the time, he used to have the number one show in town. Okay. All right. And the people went bananas. They would not believe that they were the Angolans doing that kind of song. Got you. Because, you know, they just thought that all the Americans, all the Americans would do that. And, right. you know, and people from overseas, not Angolans, try to do that uh, R&B, ragamuffin, uh, and mix with hip hop. Yeah. So with all the backgrounds that we had, we combined everything and it was just a straight up boom. From there, we just went, you know, travel the world. Got you. Yeah. So we but went to live in, mm, yeah, so. yeah, no, but de definitely a great thing. And you know what? I tell you what, our audience loves stories, but one of the things that they love the most is to actually take a look at the content that people create, the content that actually justifies and kind of also enhances or adds value to the stories that they tell. So let's go into a clip and we'll be right back. This is Diaspora Central and our guest today is Paul G. We'll be right back. Back if you have just joined us, you know, tuned into Diaspora Central with Gil Inglés and my guest today, it's Paul G, directly from yeah. Angola. <laughs> Mr. Let That's Go. It. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, for many of you that don't know, this man is being honored with the collaborations of magnets like Akon. I mean, hip hop stars or icons like Fabulous and definitely other artists from other countries like Brazil, Cuba and you name it. Not only that, he's also responsible for some of the great names of Angolan urban music that today showered the market. So let's yeah. get a little bit into your production portion, of course, at the beginning. We left the story off at the point in which you guys are starting to pop up on the radio. So you guys yeah. get a chance to go abroad. And I, I believe yeah. that's uh, kind of take us from there. Once you guys go abroad, what exactly you guys go abroad for? Well, it was, it was, it was, we went, we went to Portugal, right? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the Angola market, everybody already knew, knew us. Um, and it was like, it was a fever okay. here in Angola. But we got signed uh, with um, with a label, uh, Portuguese label called Vidisco. They okay. actually were the ones they believed in us. Mm -hmm. We had only three three, three tracks on it ready, but the songs were already killing it. Uh, gotta give a shout out to Eduardo Paim because he he was one of the person that took the tracks to to Vidisco. Mm -hmm. Him and uh, Mister Amandu, okay. very 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 blessed. Yeah. Uh, and also we were sponsored at at, at the time by. Uh, uh, my godfather, uh, Mr. Calabeto, Man Carlos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so those are people that believed in us and put money in us while everybody was just, you know, turning around. They're saying, they used to call, they used to call us crazies. Ah, oh, you know, they ain't going nowhere. This this, this uh, Portuguese hip hop is not even happening. Right. Stuff like that. Right. So we went to Portugal. While there, we start to perform it at the shows, the TV shows. Mm -hmm. And he went just bananas yeah. it was crazy we were everywhere everywhere the, the, the even the the, the the labor couldn't believe because we were we were at the time the only um uh black uh band right i believe i believe actually the fever. yeah actually to even put it into context um and and, and, and i'm gonna try to put this into context to make sure for the benefit of our viewers and our listeners is that you are you guys actually happen to be the first not only the first African hip hop band, but definitely the first lusophone or Portuguese speaking hip hop group, right? 
Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so you yeah, guys are really yeah. the pioneers at that point. You guys are the pioneers oh, yeah. of hip hop for the loser Oh world. yeah, we're talking about yeah, we talk we're talking about uh, uh, 90, uh basically ninety two. Mm-hmm. No, nine. 1990, 91, 92, mm-hmm. man, we started it. Gotcha. It was us. There, yeah. there was nobody doing it. There right. was nobody doing it the way we were doing it. No, no, no. I mean, we had, we had, we had, a, we had a, a couple of, uh, a couple, after, after we were doing it, we had a couple of uh, uh, other bands, of course, that came, that came around, but like mm-hmm. the pioneers, pioneers, it was us. Um, then um, Black Company, mm-hmm. from they were already living in Portugal. Okay. All right, it was a mixture of also um uh, 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 Angolan uh, Angolan artists and uh, Cape Verdean. Okay. okay. Uh, but yeah, the fever it was it was with us gotcha. and, and Portuguese market and Portugal and everything. Uh, uh, Cape Verde, uh, Mozambique. Right. I mean, you name it. It was us. Yeah. Now we're talking about shows. Shows filled up with like thirty something, thirty thousand people. Wow. So full arenas. It, you guys are actually doing arenas. We used to perform, yeah. We used to perform in full arenas. We started right. in clubs, and then, mm-hmm. boom! It was crazy. It was it was, it was amazing. It was crazy. Right. It was crazy. So yeah, it was it was um this this this, this those was the golden times. Yeah. Um. We we didn't know how big we are until we started to see all this uh, commotion. Got you. Cape Verde. We did Cape Verde. Right. Uh, Bahia das Gatas, Chival de Gamboa. Right. Um. We did Mozambique a couple of times. So we even went to Germany to to represent um uh Portugal. Mm-hmm. We went to Macau. Got gotcha. you. Represent Portugal. I mean, it it was it was a full packed um agenda. Yeah. So at, at what stage do you really kind of uh, because at that point I mean, you're still a producer because you're producing for SSP, but at what stage do you yeah. does Paul G see the need to actually start producing and and who is the first artist that you go and you start producing outside of SSP? Well, um, while I was uh, while I was in SSP, I already received a lot of uh, invitation. Okay, there, there were a lot of musicians that wanted to be produced by me. Okay, so um, I was doing basically extras. I was full full time with SSP, but I started to produce the first the first artist that I produced. It was Bruna, of course. Okay, right? by Bruna you mean Bruna Tatiana. Yeah, Bruna okay. Tatiana. Bruna Tatiana was uh, the first artist because, I mean, she had uh, the privilege. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she had the privilege of that. I had to do that. But at the right. time, Bruna was uh, was my girlfriend. And then okay. she became my wife, right? Gotcha. But she was the first one I started to produce. I produced her, her first album. And then all the musicians started to hear that, you know, a different vibe. It was right. actually um, uh, Afro Zouk. R&B that I that I created, mm-hmm. um, the album didn't get that big, but the songs, the the the, the ways I, I produced it, everybody wanted basically to do that. Okay. So with Bruna Sound, I had, I produced um uh, the group War and P, you know the okay. War and P, the band. Right. Yeah, I produced I produced yeah, I produced a bunch of uh, 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 tracks for them. I produced uh, um Achaniga, I produced uh, Yanika for Men, I produced uh, Man. It was it, it was a right. lot of producers, man. It was you. a lot of pictures I did, a lot of productions. Uh, yeah. Afro Man, uh, Afro Man, um, um, Father Mac, Cook mm-hmm. Lever produced a couple of beats for Cook Lever too. Okay. Oh my God. You now, name me. Now name at that at that at that point, are you are you actually being treated as a producer, or are you just being treated as a beat maker? Where you just make the beat, hand it to them, and they'll go to the studio get it done, or you were actually already producing the whole the whole track? Kind of. No, I, I was I, mm-hmm. was I was producing the whole track. Gotcha. I, I started as a beat maker, of course, but I was producing the whole track. Um, Badula, I mean, I did right. a bunch of people. Yeah. So let's let's take another quick break because they definitely want to take a look and let's see if we can probably put together some sort of. Uh, of uh uh i don't know let's try to show some of that content some let's show something so that they can actually take a look at some of the artists that you have actually gone in and produced or some of the videos of the songs that you have actually taken a look and produced so we'll be right back and our guest today right here on diaspora central directly from angola luanda specifically this is paul g the multi-instrumentalist uh pioneer of hip-hop lusophone hip-hop i should say and also music producer we'll be right back in two And we 
are back. If you've just tuned out, you're now listening to Diaspora Central with Gil Inglés. And my guest today, it's Paul G. Paul G, yeah. the multi-producer, the hip-hop pioneer, the lusophone hip-hop pioneer, the b-boy, the Mr. Sexy Body, fully muscular. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> Son. <laughs> Yo. All we, we got to say is that, listen, there are very few people who actually are able to carry their career and do what they love to do for 30 years. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have been one of yeah. those blessed individuals. So in a normal God world bless. right now, you would be approaching retirement. Yeah, man. God bless. God bless you, sir. Indeed. It's, uh, it's a blessing, mm -hmm. okay? But, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's not right. easy, especially when you are you are on me on this part of the world you know what i mean well you i mean grind. yeah i mean everywhere else the time i mean times have changed right because i mean now now we're looking at we're looking at you know people carrying it until they 62 no longer 55 now they're looking at 62 65 years old before they can actually yeah, yeah, retire yeah. sometimes seven. That. there you go <laughs> gotta stay young because uh i mean uh, mm. one of the things and, and i kind of like to clarify um some some of the things and and, and this is for clarification mm. purposes um only mm. of course course, the first uh, artist that you produce is Bruna Tatiana. Now, there mm. are rumors, and I say rumors because mm. I don't know that someone has actually verified that. Now, was Bruna mm. Tatiana a dancer or a background singer for SSP prior nah, to Bruna, Bruna, being an artist Bruna, that you Bruna, produced? Yeah, Bruna, Bruna was, uh, was a, a background singer for okay. SSP. Okay. Yeah, uh, she started there. Basically, um, SSP was a was a school for everybody mm -hmm. where we were we were, we were the, the teachers and you know we were the the, the principals right so <laughs> uh, she was part of, she was part of, she was part of all the of the whole uh, situation she was part of the whole, basically the whole transpose not the creation but the transpose because I mean when we were SSP we started to create SSP she wasn't part of that right but of course since me and her you know, had that relationship and she had, she had the music fields in, into her mm -hmm. and, um, and the, her, fa her family, her father actually, um, used to, he, he was, he was a singer. Okay. He used to do covers okay. uh, of, um, uh, 70 songs and everything. Gotcha. We're talking about what's ready and all that. So gotcha. she had all this mentality, all, all this information. Mm -hmm. So with that, when we started, you know, when we started to hook up, I was like, okay, cool, man. I mean, you got talent. You gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta have you around the group. Got you. So uh, since she was with me, um, mm -hmm. Nello one day saw her singing and said, "Well, why don't you do the backup?" Got you. Know you. What I mean, and, and we, you guys are together. We're traveling. You know, we always on the road. She's with us because she was full time with us on the road. Okay, okay. Right. So she was basically. So she started. She started mm -hmm. singing. She started singing. She started doing the backgrounds, and it was it was it was very good. It was a very good experience. Got you. Now, a lot of people don't know that you actually know how to play traditional instruments. So I want you to kind oh, of yeah, tell yeah, us yeah, very yeah, briefly yeah, yeah, some yeah. of the traditional instruments that you're actually able to to play. Yo, I know, I know, I know how to play bidumbao. I don't know how you mm -hmm. play bidumbao. Call it umbu. Right. Bidumbao is in Brazil. Umbu is a is a is an uh, it's the the original name. name because right. Yeah, they got it. They got it. The, the Brazilians uh, like the slaves mm -hmm. um, used to fight capoeira here. Right. So the the slaveries that went to to Brazil. Mm -hmm. They took the, the, the tradition. So in Brazil, they changed the name for Birumbao. You know, but, but yeah, I know how to play Birumbao very well. I know how to play drums, uh, of course. I know how to play, uh, play um, uh, I'll say Jambe. You know the Jambe? Right. Yeah, that's a drum. Yeah, I know yeah. how to play. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a drum situation. I know how to play Jambe. Yeah. Yeah. That's and it. you and and of course you play keys because that's your primary instrument as a as yes a producer, yes that's, right? that's the love of my life yeah <laughs> now 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 let's kind of let's kind of move on forward because we left the conversation at the time in which okay so SSP mm -hmm. SSP is popping once SSP mm -hmm. pops at some point Paul G actually decides to go solo as a solo artist right? yeah right so yeah 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 um. So we had, we had, we had the opportunity we had the opportunity me and Cody we got a scholarship mm -hmm. right while while we were doing the things we had a, the, the opportunity to get scholarship and I always had you know my mother and my father my mother 
you know, um, she she is a teacher by heart. Mm-hmm. You know, she she was one of the founders of uh, the the Ministry of Education in Angola. Okay, okay. So she was go, part of that. Yeah, go ahead and give us, give us her name. Give us her name because here at Diaspora Central, whenever you tell stories, you gotta give us name because this is a oh, record. Oh, oh, yeah, we want people. My, my mother you. Maria Natasia. Okay. Maria Natasia. Right. Was conocida right. por Dona Natasia. <laughs> 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 yeah, my mother, my fa- my step, my 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 uh, my my stepfather, mm-hmm. he was an economist, and uh, the doctor Rodrigo Duarte, my stepfather, which you know was like my mentor of everything. All right, um, and my father was a um, 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 flight engineer. Okay. All right. Yeah. So one of one of the first here in Angola. Mm-hmm. So uh, you see the background, you see where I'm coming from. So if I didn't went to school, if I didn't go to, to finish the school, they would be mad at me. You right. know, I, I remember this time with the SSP happened, everybody had finished the high school. Right. We were supposed to get in uh, into to university and stuff like that. But because of the music, the agenda and everything, we were able to do it. So mm-hmm. it got to the point that while we were really big, 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 we got the scholarship. My, mm-hmm. my, my, our parents managed me and Kudi. So we were like, all right, man, we got to get education. I need to, I need to know what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that was, that, 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 that basically happened. And, uh, we went our way, Kudi came, uh, went to the States. Mm-hmm. I went to Brazil. Me, the band, the, the band, uh, suffered basically, uh, a turn down. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, because we decided to go and the others uh, just they just kept going. Yeah. You know what I mean? We say, brother, we gotta go, but we still, you know, up front we're gonna we're gonna catch up, but yeah. we still gotta do it. Yeah. So yeah, with that being said, I went for music production. I went to Brazil. I started to do some intern jobs at the at the studio in Brazil. Mm-hmm. It's energy uh, energy energy movement. Mm-hmm. Um, and then of course um, uh, we got the opportunity to come to go to 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 study in the states. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. We got scholarship. We were working out to get a scholarship. Actually, Buna got it first than me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the rest, I mean, it becomes issue. when uh, we decided to come to the States, we make you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, you but guys, that, now, 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 that now, now portion. I gotta say, now, now, now I got to say, okay, mm-hmm. now this part, all right? Gil was basically the person that received us. Not basically, it was the, the person that received us, that we, that, that we looked out. Right, because everybody was telling us we we were picking up places to go to study, and uh, and uh, I I like basically mandated that we needed to go to to Howard University because right. of the history that Howard University had and everything, and that there was a there was a very good program for music there. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I decided that we need to go. So our friend in common, me and Gil, put us me and Gil together. Right, and it it was boom, actually we decided to come. We took we. We, we decided to come. Yeah. I, 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 but, but hold on. Hold on. Let me let say. me fill in something in there because that's very important. See, the friend the friend that you're referring to that's actually Vladi Cunha, right? Yeah, Vladi. Right. Vladi. And, and that's man. that's Big important. Vladi, yeah. Man, my blood. Man. Right. That, indeed. That's a person right there. Yeah. And, and a human being. Indeed. And that and that's very important because I'll be very honest with you. I I believe that with the exception of Anselmo Ralph, every yeah. Um, Angolan musician with whom I have worked kind of came through Vladi, right? He kind of came oh, through Vladi. Okay. Right. Vladi was okay, the one. So Vladi is the man. man. Yeah, Vladi. Knows, yeah, Vladi knows, is responsible for. Yeah, Vladi is responsible for you and also responsible for Irina. And, and of course, there, right. there were other artists that came also through Irina. Yeah, but exactly, Irina exactly, then exactly. kind of put him in connection, and others through you. But but I'm saying the, you know, mm-hmm. so. So anyway, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. And that was funny because so, so, because at that point in time actually the original plan was for, was to produce uh Bruna's album. Bruna. Right. Yeah. To yeah. produce Bruna's yeah. album. And and you were yeah. just going to produce Bruna, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yes, 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 yeah. yes. But at some point there was the, there was the idea because I had I had a, I had a, I had a, remember I recorded the first album, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I produced the first album and recorded we recorded it. In Portugal, and then the second album we recorded full in Brazil. While I was studying in Brazil, I was living, spending time in Brazil. She came to, and right. of course, she was living with me. And we decided that we're gonna drop your album, which was the first ever um, R&B album, in all full in Portuguese. Mm-hmm. Right. We didn't so, have that. So yeah, right? no, no, it was no. a big huge, a big hit, a right. big hit, full album, big success. You know that. And then uh, from that, of course, I decided. I mean, we gotta go to the states. I need to. I need to. 
I need to improve. We need to we need to go to the to the um, to the bigger market. We need to understand what the Americans are doing. Right. And this was a dream. We wanted we wanted to drop something um, that we would show the world that Angola exists. Mm -hmm. Not a uh, not a better place to do it. It's the states. You got to go to the states and do that. Right. Now, so course. yeah, that's when that's that's when we started to get connected, and I'll tell you, we're gonna start we're gonna start recording the Bruno's album. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, then uh, wh wh while we were there, we, because of the starting and everything, we decided me and Bruno we decided okay, uh, we have a studio here. Gil is helping us with the studio. Got to give a shout out to everybody, exposures, exposure family, man. Yeah, we all became yeah. a family. Blaze, yo, yeah. Reggie, you yeah. mean you name it, man. Uh, yeah. Jamie, everybody, everybody, man. You know, yeah. you guys receive us like a big family right there. Yeah, it's you, know, uh, you got you guys hands down hands down <laughs> for the reception. Yeah, hands you got down for everything. Yeah, you guys are definitely part of the family. And you know what? I'm actually gonna fast forward this thing very quickly because I wanna go. I wanna get to the point in which, of course, through exposure, you meet a luscious, right? And, yeah, and that yeah, becomes yeah. one of the critical collaborations in you. So let's kind of go into the video freaking me out very quickly. And then when we come back, we're going to pick up because now we got to start tuning ourselves up to see if we can go and take a look into the new single that you got down in the market. So for those of you that just tuned in, we got Paul G, the multi-talented instrumentalist. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> much, Music bro. producer. I mean, I would say you are one of the most blessed Lusophone artists because in urban artist because in all honesty you have had the opportunity to work not only with anglophone francophone and uh, artists in pretty much just about every continent so we'll be yeah. right back in a few minutes and the luscious magic fingers all oh, here let's go let's go <gasps> one let's go i am making sweet love with this lovely goddess my, my mind is drifting thinking about you oh, matter what i do my heart will always be running back to you We are back for those of you that just joined as you are now tuned into Diaspora Central with Gil and Glaze. And our guest today virtually is the pioneer hip hop, Lusophone hip hop B boy, yes, <laughs> buddy builder, yes. producer, it's... Paul G. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> I'm sitting right here yeah. messing with you, man. Listen, um, that was freaking me out. Yeah. A multi-award <laughs> nominated and award-winning song. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. And and the and the and the, the beautiful the beauty of this song is that mm -hmm. this remember I, I I don't know if you remember, but it was the last song you were on me. You were like, dude, we gotta finish the album. You you just <laughs> you just have we you, we just have like one more week. At the studio, we need to drop. Yeah. We have everything ready. The album was already ready. Yeah, we needed to close the album. Yeah, the tracks were well, was sounding amazing. Yeah, uh, we needed to send the album to um to Ken Ken Lewis. I gotta give a shout out to Ken Lewis, uh, yeah. a super top engineer, sound oh. engineer. Oh yeah, multi. That's a multi multi <laughs> Grammy. Uh, yeah, award -winning. nominated. Yeah, no, yeah, winning, winning. Yeah, Remember, they're yes. going, going into Weirder, Ken's, yeah. winning, uh, going into Ken's studio. They're, yes. they're like 18 Grammys. Yes. One Grammy yes. per step. Yes. I think they're like 20 steps or something. And he's Man, got like he 18. He did everybody in the game. He, he had 18 the Grammys. Right. So yeah. we needed, we needed, we needed to, to close the album. And he was like, we need to, we need to do this. I remember it like it was today, man, I, in like 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, I jumped on a on a on a on a keyboard and a, my Triton, yeah. and I started producing that track. And then, yeah. boom, just writing. It was yeah. just writing. Actually, I finished writing in the studio. Yeah, 
with uh, and, and, uh, and then you get the collaboration of Alashes with with whom you actually forge a very a very good um uh, musical partnership because um both of you guys no. are now on the new single right man yeah. I, I i think I, th i think for me till the day man Alashes the kid the kid mm -hmm. is is a killer talent man that, that kid uh yeah. come on man he's He's, he's, he's one of the first, um, uh, like I said, he's super talented, still super talent, talented, yeah. huh? No, definitely. So Def yeah, when I, when I saw, when I saw, when you introduced me, he came, he came to the studio with his father, remember? Right. And I was yeah, like, Big Mike. I was, and I, uh, yeah, yeah. May he rest exactly. in big peace. Big Mike, man. May he rest, rest in, in peace, peace Big indeed. Mike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, and I was like, I gotta listen to it. I gotta listen to what he got. And kid just out of the blue started dropping, man. He was dropping good bars and right. amazing bars, which makes sense. I was like, I should be, I like, I like, has got to be, in this. You, you got to be in the track. Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah, no, definitely. So now you guys are, are both on the same, um, on the same song again, on that's your new single. Uh, what's the title of the single? So, uh, the title of the single is write it. Mm -hmm. Now it's give, the write it remix actually. Yeah. So All give, right. And yeah. I, I did, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Give, give us a little bit of background on that. How, how, how exactly did the whole situation work out? Because you have more than a lashes on that song. You have two other artists right on the same song. So give us yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, So what, what, happened was, what, what happened was, like I was saying, um, uh, I, I had, the, I had the, the original writer's song, uh, song mm -hmm. come out yeah, with the video. But because of the pandemic, I couldn't promote it mm -hmm. the way I wanted. Okay. Um, and I was like, this is a waste. I'm not going to waste the song. Just uh, because of you know this this COVID situation, I gotta we gotta we gotta wait and we gotta have something stronger, mm -hmm. all right. Even though the track was amazing, the video was amazing. We shot it here in Rwanda, mm -hmm. uh, and um, that was uh, promoting. Oh, I'm still promoting actually with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Mm -hmm. I'm promoting the country still. Right. <laughs> yeah, promoting the country, but showing the our our beautiful our beautiful. Um, beaches and all, everything that people could come and enjoy. Right, okay. Yeah, we shot at a couple of the mm -hmm. London, which is a very, um, I mean, amazing, amazing uh, spot to come. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful beaches uh, and everything. So after that, because of the, co the COVID and I couldn't promote it the way I wanted, I decided, okay, I got to do uh, a remix on this track. Okay. So I was like, okay, who am I going to grab? Because this track got the feel, because I, got, I go more, more with the feeling of mm -hmm. what I'm getting, mm -hmm. all right? I said, this gets the feel of, oh man. I was like, nah, lashes. Lashes gotta be part of it. Yeah. Definitely. But I mean, he's, he's gonna it's gonna be good. And then I was like, okay, Lisa Viola from Australia. She's a she's a performing artist, mm -hmm. killer, killer dancer, singer. Mm -hmm. She has she has an Angola background and Thanks. good artist. The world needs to see this girl. She needs to be out there. Yeah. Uh, and and then I was like, oh man, I need to have. I was like, I need to have somebody that speaks uh, um, uh, um, Spanish here in a track, so I can have my Miami people dancing, my uh, you know Puerto Rico, Cuba, just to get that twist because every we all run by the same the same uh, type of song. Everybody, right. you know, is is all is all Afro 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 uh, generation here. Yeah. So I, I went and grabbed um, Yasser from Cuba. He's a he's a he's a, he's a Cuban that, that that lives here in Angola. He's a singer. Mm -hmm. uh, also teach music at school. He graduated from a music a Cuban music school and came um, uh, to Angola. Okay. He got married with an Angolan uh, wife. So he got the flavor too. I was like, okay, cool. I called them. I was like, guys, I have I have the song. I need you guys on the track. Your vibes, nothing changed, and they just. You know, they just went in and flow with it. And it was magical. It still is magical. All right. So with that being said, I then then I decided, okay, so this video, I'm going to keep on promoting my country. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm yeah. going to keep on promoting my country. So that's why I decided to go to this, this other, um, uh, like, beautiful, amazing location, mm -hmm. which is in the uh, province of Malange, okay. here in Angola. Yeah. Uh, They, which is called Kaladula Falls. Mm -hmm. It's basically uh, everybody was just saying when once you go there, this where this where you really witness the Wakanda, right? You know the Wakanda scene where yeah. where they're fighting in that in that waterfall, wherever. It's basically the same, right? The, Now the same, the same, the same. It's a beautiful. I will urge people to go when you come to Angola. Please come for tourism and go and chill in Malange. Go see. Calendula's fall is an amazing 
feel. It's therapeutic. Right. Trust me. Yeah. So we did. Yeah, we did portions of the video there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, now one of the things I guess uh, that um, and, and I kind of just wanna 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 enhance what you what you just said. Um, by actually going to Kalandula Falls, one can also take get an opportunity to go take a look at the reign of Dongo, right? Which is Queen Zinga's. Um, yes. Um, yes. Land uh, reign, right? Yeah. Land. Yeah. Okay. She was. She was. She was. Uh, she was. She, mean, she uh, even when you go there, there's a there's a like a, a stone and where mm -hmm. where she got her. In the engraving of her hand, right? And she got stuck. Her hand when, when the Portuguese, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, 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 the nah, not even fingerprint. This is like no hand the, print. The, it's the, a hand the, print. The, yeah, hand print. A hand print, exactly. Right. Hand print. I'm sorry, yeah. you got it. A hand print in a, when the Portuguese arm, um, uh, the colonizers tried to get her. Yeah. And she was escaping from them. She was a fighter. Yeah. So you have everything there for 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 the culture. Um, you have uh, um, um, the stones of of Punguandongo. Mm -hmm. Which is also another sightseeing, amazing sightseeing. Right. So I mean, our country is, is a blessed country, so we need to promote it. Yeah, definitely. That's why I decided to go over there and started 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 uh the video to like, to shoot portions mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. And then Alasha did his part. Mm -hmm. I gotta give uh, a shout out again. You, Tyra, yeah. Tyra, Tyra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, T Tyra and her. Tyra and her, Apart um, from being a, a mad producer, songwriter, right. Tyra, she is multi-talented. Yeah. Well, oh my God. Yeah. One, one thing. She, she shot portion of the video with the lashes. Right. In, in America. Right. Look, look, something that very few people know about Tyra. Tyra is actually an award-winning writer. See, yeah, Tyra, yes, Tyra has, yes, has won, yes. has won, right? She has won the Writer of the Year by ASCAP. So mm -hmm. she, she's big. I remember, yeah, I remember. yeah. I remember. Ty, Tyra, Tyra is very. I mean, she's very humble, but honestly, she has very she's heavy strong. accolades, she's man. She, she's got very yes. heavy accolades, and and a lot of people don't know. Nah, her, so man, she's a out, mean. Man, shout out to, to, yeah. to Tyra, man. She's out, you, you know that she's also a mean. She's actually a mean bass player. So Ty you, you, you told you told yeah you told me right. I didn't Ty you actually didn't Dude, see it, Tyra I Tyra is a you mean know, bass player. She can yeah, play on, she can play bass and she can play keys and, and a lot of people she, don't know that she has keys. I know keys. Right. I know keys. I saw I saw her play right. keys when I want to do that at the studio. I yep. saw her play that. Yep. And, actually remember I, I got two two tracks from her, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. And my, and my first album the album Transition, you have two tracks that were written in uh Co-produced by by by, by, by Tara her, by her, and, right? Uh, and, uh, and uh, Mo Diggs, Mo Diggs also. <laughs> yeah, Mo Diggs. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. You 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 were like you were like exposure a hundred percent, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. You were that's exposure a hundred percent. Look, look, that's you right. know, still my album, my album, my album still out there. My first album still out there. Actually, it was one of the first albums in uh in yeah. Golden albums in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, iTunes. And right. That. <laughs> yeah. The the transition and, so and, and actually the tra transition. Yeah, the transition and 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 the transition. Yeah. You also in that album uh, something interesting and. and very important to to actually mention it is the fact that um uh, a lot of people don't quite know that you were actually probably one of the very few first artists that integrated um urban angolan producers and urban american producers all yes. into the, in same, the same project and then your remixes the right and then your remixes brought in the heavyweights like akon um, and of course, yeah. on your next single, which was a different song, yeah. you brought you brought in "Fabulous." Fabulous, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. But the so, first album, the first uh, the first album, yeah, Aiken actually was the one who picked up who, who picked the song. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. yeah. When I sent when I sent uh, when I sent uh, the, the 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 CD for him to listen, right. actually, his brother took the song to him. Right. He saw he he's, he's, he's yeah he saw the track and he was looking for actually an African featuring at the time. Remember, he did he didn't have no artists. No African artists to perform with, right? Because he, you know, he was looking for someone. Once he saw the quality of the of the album, he said, "Yo, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing in this track. This, this is my face, and right. this is what you should use." So we're talking about "Bang It Off" with me and Akon, and it was magic. It was yeah. magic the way things happened. It was, it was yeah. amazing to have him around. On uh, to today, we still, we still talk. Yeah, his 
we became good good friends. I brought mm-hmm. them to Angola for a couple of shows. Yeah. Also South Africa because remember I was I also used to produce events. Right. So he came to perform at some of the some of some of uh, the events that I producing. Yeah. So yeah, man, he, he, he turned to family. Yeah, so yeah. a contract actually opened all the doors for me. Yeah. Apart from uh, of course um uh, the freaking me out they got me all the uh, nominations. So. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and, uh, and um, the quota awards right, was right. also another consequence because that that actually that, that actually freak, the, freaking the, me out actually Washington puts you in competition award. with P Square, I mean, right? Was, yeah, so I was in competition with right. P Square, direct. Though. That's what that's I when P Square took the million. Uh, won, that's when they took the million dollars. Yeah, they took the million, <laughs> man. I got the fifty. <laughs> 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 they took the million dollar and got the fifty because yeah. um, I remember they 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 they, they were given uh, two awards for right. best performance at the night mm-hmm. of the night and uh, and also the normal um uh, uh, performance I was uh, yeah. cast so I received for the best performance of the night because when right. we when we got got into the to the to the stage remember me man I, right. I when I'm I'm when I'm when I'm on stage I'm just a whole different ball game I'm right. different yeah. no, <laughs> I definitely. like I like to deliver I like to deliver thunders yeah no, de- definitely <laughs> but it was it was it was a killer performance it was amazing amazing feel uh we got uh, Mr. Jovi all popped up and came around and he was like no I gotta go to Angola to deliver you the award yeah. you deserve it so he came just you know it was good it was an amazing feel indeed yeah Yeah. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at um write it the remix so that um our viewers can actually check out and see what Paul G is all about on this new remix. So we'll be right back. <laughs> back if you just joined us you're now tuned into diaspora central with gil inglés and my guest today virtually it's paul g directly from angola and you just finished watching the remix of ride it yes it is ride it by paul g yeah. lisa viola alashes in yeah. yes yeah. so now you're hitting four continents with one song including yeah. I mean, you like, I think, what are you like, the first Angolan to go do a remix with an Australian? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? we don't have it. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I, I, you may even be the first African to do a remix with an Australian. We kind of need to check that, right? Because um, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, no, the first African, no, but uh, no? the first Angolan I have. So, sure. so someone so else has already done a, a, yeah, a yeah, song with yeah, an Australian. Yeah, no, I know. I think I think gotcha. I think Yosundu already did something Yosundu. with Australian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you well, yeah. that, that's the, the, those are major legends and and definitely. Oh, yes. Yeah, come on. Come definitely. On, come on. <laughs> But okay, on when it comes to urban music though, you definitely wanted the first to go on and cut that got that situation. Yeah, man. We be, yeah. we we be, we been first, we been first in a in a lot of in a lot of um handovers here. Right. The yeah. pre, the first thing going to also be nominated for uh Washington Music Award. Oh yeah, to that's right. You you also man, I forgot about that. You also did did uh, oh my goodness, dude, dude, dude. The first thing going actually, you know what? I think you are the well, definitely you are the first thing going to 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 have an article on not only on the Washington Post and also on the Maryland Independent. You yeah, actually, yeah, 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 yeah because yeah, yeah, the transition yeah, 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 actually yeah, yeah, yeah. took Washington, cover Washington on the Washington Post. Post yeah, they, they talked right? about, they talked about, right. they, talked yeah. about they came to the studio, right. they came it, to see us. Yeah, 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 it actually yes, took yes, cover, yes. yeah, it took yes. cover of the culture yes. section of the Washington yeah. Post, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Man, that's uh first page of the Washington Post. The world. Yes. Yeah, front page. It was, it was it was it was a very good film. Wow, man. Very wow. Good. Yeah, and you, we were, we were, we we be we been promoting, man. We been right. fighting, you remember, you know, just trying to just trying to put our country out there because no, this definitely. was I remember this was my basically my uh, what I was um my aiming. I was aiming for that. Right. You know, I was like yeah. I was like okay, if I have to do something, 
yeah. for my country. Mm -hmm. First, I got to love it. I got to do something that I love. Right. And I got to promote the talent that we have because we have a lot of, like, a lot of talent. Right. Right. Are we the reach our investors had the, the vision? Had yeah. to, had, I still believe in our vision. At this time, uh, a lot of musicians, Angolan musicians, would be in the same position right. as, uh, I mean, Nigeria. I got to say, Nigeria, but Nigeria is, sorry, they're kicking ass right now. I'm sorry. Yeah. They invest. They, they move that's, forward. That's what is missing. That's what was missing. That's what I was missing in Angola. Of course, at mm -hmm. the beginning, I had, I had a, of course, a, a few pushes and everything. And I, and I got to be thankful for what they did. Right. But some of them were my friends. Mm -hmm. They loved my music and wanted to help. Now, right. if you had like, like a very serious um, investor. Yeah. Not not only me, you know, right. because I just I just went and paved the way. I just right. showed them that we, we could do it. Listen, Angolan can do this. And, uh, that's why I sing. I did a song with Akon. I did a song. <laughs> and I remember mm -hmm. when I said I was going to sing with Akon to right. give an interview. The guys on the, on the, on the other side started, started laughing. laughing right? <laughs> yeah, crazy. yeah. Well, is he going to sing with Akon? It's crazy. Yeah. Yo, are you being with me? Are you good? You, right. you could like you be on something, right? I was like, <laughs> no, I'm going to sing with Akon. Trust me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I really wish we could we could we could have more more investments investors actually uh, behind uh, backing us up. Yeah, def definitely. Um, it's um, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things that it is important. And not only that, I mean, technology today f f facilitates and makes a lot of other things easier, yes. right? Yes, yes, People yes, no longer yes, need yes, to yes, depend yes. on labels to actually make records go big. It, now it's really yeah. about how much vision an artist has and how far they want to go because everything else can definitely happen as long as you devote yourself to it and you put your 100% into it because focus right now is just about everything. Now, yeah, yeah. So Paul G just just released um um write it the remix. So what's next on yeah. Paul G's plate? So I'm coming up uh, with another track. Yeah, got gotcha. uh, That is a mixture. Mm -hmm. It is a mixture uh, of um uh it's it's um, a piano and Afrobeat. Okay. Now now if you go I, the, right the way I go about it. Mm -hmm. The singing is the singing part is is, is mainly R and B and okay. uh, it's sounding amazing. It's okay. sounding amazing. Great, great. You know what? We can't we can't we can't wait to kinda hear that because I mean it's of course not the first time that you go into southern Africa, meaning Namibia or South Africa in in, in, oh, in, yeah. that, in that region. You also have had a collaboration with um Yeah, uh, with my easy my easy right. from from my easy my yeah, easy from Tear Gas. Uh, Tear Gas from, from Tear Gas. Yep. Yeah, South Africa so South Indeed. Africa rural band. Yeah. They are top top and uh they mm -hmm. just, you know, King synchronizing with me on a on a on a, on this track. Yeah. Oh my God. The yeah. feeling. The, the feeling also right. made me go all over, man. That's right. that's that's a killer track. Yeah. You got a guy straight strictly from Soweto. Right. And you're coming up with the new uh with the new type of sound, which right. was now people's calling out for beat. I didn't even hear uh, Upper House. Upper <laughs> House. Yeah, they call Upper House. Yeah. Upper House, I'm sorry. Right. Upper House. I mean yeah. Upper House and Alpha Beat. Mm -hmm. So uh, they came up with this name, but when right. we did it, I just I just wanted to do something that, that belonged to Africa and they had the same, you know, the compass, same feel. You know? Yeah, but we, we like can this, actually, to, yeah, to be to be honest with you, I, I'm, even, I'm even it's like historically, like from a musicology aspect, we can actually take it back even to the transition because for people who actually have that album, there's a song on on the transition that was very, a very but, tribal, very right, face. right, because uh, because that 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 and song, the way and the way we sang the song too, it was it was very African. Yeah. Actually, even Bang It All, Bang It All with Aiken was very African. I had the the, the, the drums yeah. sounding like, you know, African. Just, I just get that uh, R&B feel to it. Yeah. But, the drums, yeah, but behind, the, the drums behind the back was, was killing. Right. This was like going... History right there was about to take a whole different shape. But you know what? Listen, it's been a great pleasure, man. I know that you are busy, man, and we also have a lot of things going on here. Do um, uh, you want to give any shout-outs? Because uh, although we love to talk, time is getting to that point, brother. So any yeah, shout-outs Yeah, no, definitely, you? definitely. You know it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure, more than a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, and now with your audience, of course, um, there's you. plenty of history here between us. Indeed. Uh, I wish we could have more time, but you know, I mean, we're gonna. I'm gonna get back to 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 to, to this show again. Yeah, this is my yeah. house now. That that's a promise. <laughs> yeah, that's a promise that you gotta make because this is home for you. Yeah, so you just gotta promise now. me that you're so gonna come gotta... come through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel, I feel. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I gotta give a shout out to everybody that worked with me in this project. Yeah, in actually, in all my projects, mm -hmm. all exposure family, you, 
yeah. uh, Reggie, everybody that believed in me, you know, uh, yeah. all these years, still mm-hmm. there, you know, Elisha's, Tara, yeah. uh, Mo Diggs, yeah. I mean, oh, uh, man, um, now Lisa Viola, yourself, for, for, for the writing project, uh, and tell people, you just, you know, uh, when you got it in your heart, you just got to keep on going, believe right. it. Believe it. There are a lot of no's you're going to receive. Yeah. But once they see what you have inside and they understand what you're about to drop, mm-hmm. they will just believe in you. Yeah, so definitely. That's it, man. Yeah. All right. Now, now quite, quite, oh, and also to all my uh, di- uh, diaspora fans, because I know I yeah. got a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I've been receiving a lot of th- all this year that I've been just on and off with the music. I've been right. receiving a lot of messages and everything. So where you at? Where you at? So we're back. We're yeah. back in the building. We're coming back strong. I mean, Just, you, you know, to clean the throne. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got, you got, you got to remember that as a solo, as a solo artist, your career started in the diaspora. So you really consider a diaspora artist yes. when, when we just talking about you, right? With SSP, of course, your yeah. career started in Angola, but as, no, definitely, as definitely, a solo definitely. artist, that's your, ba- your career started in the United you know, States. Never, right. That's my background, and I can never forget that about yeah. that, man. I mean, you always got to respect your story. You, you got to re- respect where you're coming from. Oh, yeah. All right? So that's it. Yeah. That's it, man. I, now, you know, I got mad love for my fans throughout mm-hmm. the world that I've been receiving messages, and I'm coming back with new things. Yeah. I'm coming now, back with new things. Oh, trust me. Got you. Now, let's give, let's give your social media so that they know exactly where they can catch you and how they can follow you. All right. Go follow, go follow me on Instagram, Paul G, Paul G. I'm not using Facebook. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, and uh, uh, I mean, go drop messages on Paul GMF at mm-hmm. gmail.com. Okay. Uh, and that's it, man. Go look, go look for me. Go look for me. Got oh, you. my my YouTube, my YouTube page, yep. Paul G World. Mm-hmm. Go look for you for you for your uh, Paul G World, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Right. And uh, we coming with new things. Got you. Honestly, I kind of like to make sure that at least uh, I I give one major accolade. I'll tell you. I had the opportunity to meet Chris Lighty twice. Yeah. And one of those Chris. times was with you. Yeah, right? man. And Violator, on, right? Man. Yeah. Violator so, with yeah. Juan Scott, man. Exactly. That's it. So I was about I was we were about to do we were about to do a featuring. Right. Lay low with with, with, with Missy. Right. Come on, man. So that, Chris that Lighty time. was the person that received us. And right. Man, he, that, yeah, he, de- he him, definitely man. yeah, he definitely R&B. Yeah, may he rest in peace definitely. He gave uh, gave us yeah. uh Gave, gave, gave us a good reception there. And um, in, in all honesty, listen. Yeah. And I, I bring that up to really show that, you know what, when it comes to being a veteran in the industry, you definitely one of those veterans. And one of the things uh, that I you, appreciate bro. about you right now is the fact that you actually taking time to start to direct some of these new acts or some of these uh, newcomers into the industry because... People are probably just looking at, at uh, Lisa Viola. They really not realizing that even that you also had collaborations with the the new group that uh, Calibrados actually had put out. Yeah, yeah, also, Zona Cinco, right? Zona Cinco, Zona Cinco, Zona right. Cinco. yeah, yeah. Zona and, Cinco. I produced also a couple a couple of tracks with them. I produced with right. uh, with, uh, with with Calibrado also. Yeah. And, and, and you also and, name, and, and you also produced, you also produced for Ari, right? Or you oh, you yeah. or you have a collaboration Ari, yeah. with Ari, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a collaboration with Ari. Right. It's, uh, it's not out mm-hmm. like that. That I, we we were supposed to drop it, but they didn't do the promo the, accordingly. But uh, okay, uh, Vida Boom, which was one of the hits. Right. I produced. I produced uh, another one that just uh, with this called Vinficar. Mm-hmm. So I produced um, me and Lucky Gomez actually. We produced. Got it. You. Gotta give a shout out to my man Lucky Gomez. So, yeah. Hey, gotta give a shout which out to is- my man Lucky Gomez that produced the remix for the track. Mm-hmm. Amazing, Lucky Dome has been with me since you know we were like fourteen. Yeah, yeah that there was that that that's my partner, the music partner. That's that's my Indeed. you know my Indeed. mecca. Yeah, Lucky Gomez also uh the kid that produced also um, um the original mm-hmm. uh, song for Riding. Yeah, Matt Superstar. This kid is the future. Trust me. Got you. you. Stay tuned for this kid. He is the future. Yeah. But but to continue my accolades to you is actually the fact that, you know what, we were able to put together a team of not only producers from the diaspora, but also producers from the mainland and actually help, yes. have them all work together in one body of work that actually became yes. award winning. And for that alone, brother, I am not only appreciative, I am honored. 
It's been a pleasure, hey. man. Until next time, brother. Peace. My pleasure, my brother. Indeed. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm coming back. All right. Yo. Let's do it. <laughs> you never left, man. You never left. Yeah. All right. Peace. So, so Spirit is up now. So, so My is it us. My is it us. Cause it's yours. My is it us. is hot now.